good morning everyone body mind relationship modulating processes we know about body as well as mind biological components and psychological components today we have to start with body mind relationship before i would like to ask hostin on previous class Anjali Biju Anjali Biju Yes sir Can you list a few psychological factors or mental factors Sensation Yes Learning thinking memory emotion motivation Excellent thank you for your nice answer thank you sir okay what are the relation between body and mind mind is mental process and consciousness body the brain how brain is structured mind and body how interact the behaviorist believe that the psychology only based on behavior but biologist emphasize that the biological factors only determine the behavior but fact is that both biological as well as psychological factors balancing to contribute to the behavior this theory is explain about it you are going to learn about some of theories regarding body mind relations first theory monistic theory second 
dualistic theory. Mono means one, dual means two. Detail going on. Monostic theory. Mind and body not separated substance. It means mind and body only one, mono. This theory emphasizes that don't think about mind and body separately. Only think about one. Look at this picture shows that. Mind and body two side of same coin. Second theory, dualistic theories. According to this theory, mind other than psychological substance, which means mind and body separated substances or separated components. Look at this picture. Mind, body are separated components. Then various schools of thought explain about body-mind relationship. First, double aspectism. Second, Epiphenomenalism, three, idealism, four, interactionism, five, materialism, six, occasionalism, seven, parallelism, eight, pre-stabilized harmony. Detail going on. Double expectism. According to this approach, mind and body is different but inseparable. Cognitive distinct is from or separated from different from physical aspects. Second, epiphenomenalism, mind is really a byproduct of brain. Example, neuron firing by means of stimuli, for example, light stimuli or sound stimuli influence to fire the neuron, then only mind will be aware. Hence, mind is bought by product of brain. Sir? Yes? <coughs> and see? Sir, Abhiram, you know, admit your country. Okay, okay, please wait. I have admitted everyone. Everybody okay, sir. Please say it uh, one more. Yes, two of them waiting. Okay, admitted. Abhirami, Abhin Jom, Anu. Okay, thank you. Okay.
look at this picture mind is by product of body third one idealism idealism means concerning ideas what one knows confirm to contents of one's one's own mind experience colored by how our mind perceive it cannot have access to external reality so the, the fact is that everybody having different ideas regarding knowledge according to that only we can perceive so this aspect idealism can determine behavior look at this we can only know of body through mind what we have in our mind what are the knowledge what are the thought fourth one interactionism mind affects the body body affects the mind affect one another look at this picture sometimes body affect mind you know when see sometimes mind affect body fifth one materialism only physical matters material and non material govern material means visible items for example tools we have been using non materials means within which is in the mind for example belief values in other aspect which is culturalism which is determine the behavior only body is real mind may not even exist which means reality concern the biological factors such as hormonal neuroendocrine factors sixth one occasionalism god is following us when the mind gives the body some instruction vice versa so god makes it happen look at this picture body and mind interact god makes it happen
body and mind are synchronized by coincide coincidence eighth on pre stabilized harmony time of creation perfectly synchronized by god like two clocks set for exactly the same time so this theory as well as is a belief regarding creation of god synchronize body and mind exactly can you see this picture yes so these all the different aspects of body mind relationship so fact is that body and mind should be balanced imbalance cause illness affect health students we are nursing professionals this is your focusing area different thinkers thought about differently biologist says that biological factors only higher than mind psychologist emphasize mental factor only first but fact is that should be balance mind and body if imbalance will affect felt the solus and cause illness so next we are going to detail about body mind versus health and illness physical structure of body plays an important role in the behavior of individual look at this interaction body mind interact and responds affect health behavioral and psychological factors psychological factors cause chronic human disease explanation going on when a person interact with society affect or influence by stimuli or environment undesirable stimuli introduce induce the stress and stress is cause root of all kinds of diseases so this is one of the chart available here a flow chart for more understanding about relation between mind body and how to affect health look at this when a person behave in environment or society first affect brain through five sensory organs can you name five sensory organs seeing hearing taste touch smell you know brain first receive that stimuli the nerve system affected by by that stimuli then endocrine system secrete hormones immune system responds to try to balancing the 
biological components. So clear about it? When you, we have received a stimuli, our brain first receives that stimuli by means of eye sensory organs. Mind try to solve that problems or environment, sit, social situations. If unable to solve, experiencing distress due to endocrinal factors and immuno responses, imbalance cause the disease. Look at this. Interaction with the environment, brain affected, nerve system, human body, endocrine system secrete hormones. If we have experienced desirable stimuli, we feel happy. There is no stress and moderate level of stress. And when we receive the undesirable stimuli, are unable to solve that imbalancing organic system of human body stress hormone will be released experiencing distress then immune system will be affected immuno immunity will be reducing due to undesirable situations or unsolvable solvable environments in the mind which directly impact on health cause diseases communicable diseases as well as non communicable diseases when a person interact with the environment perceive stimuli through sense of through sense organs sense affect the brain and stimulate nervous system when a person interact with the environment stimuli through sense organs, brain stimulate nervous system. Nerve system influence endocrine system. Endocrine glands, hormones, secrete hormones. Hormones stimulate organic system. Human body change functions of organ such as blood pressure, BP, breathing and chemistry of body will be changed, biochemistry of body. Unable to cope with stress cause imbalance. Human body which leads to affect immuno system and opportunistic diseases
disease affect health status of individual so clear about it how a person experiencing disease yes sir okay thank you systems involved in interaction of body and mind first system socio cultural system which means environment where we interact interact with human surrounding us material and non material components second enzymic system enzymic means which is in digestive system responsible to digestion then endocrine system endocrine glands have been secret hormones to determine functions of the organs third one organic system every part parts of body every system mainly cardiovascular digestive reproductive etc fourth one nervous system brain cns pns fifth psychological system every components of mind involve in the time of interaction of body and mind then physiological response to interaction of body and mind increase heart rate or change heart rate rapid breathing stress hormone release adrenaline nor adrenaline bp will be change muscle frightening blood flow heightened sense sweating imbalance hormone level look at this body mind emotion behavior body and mind determine emotions and behavior should be synchronized and balance imbalance cause to affect health addition to about changes following other changes in the body increase cns activity increase fatty acid circulation increase cholesterol level in blood release endorphins dilated pupils hair strands which means goose flexing brain wave activity increase saliva dry up decrease perception
kidney decrease output bowel bladder erection vaginal lubricant inhibited so means reproductive system reduce their activities parasympathetic and sympathetic nerves parasympathetic means now supply directly from the cranial nerves and sympathetic from spinal nerves look at this other explanation for this when a person receiving the stimuli from the environment or society first affect the mind you know hypothalamus pituitary gland amygdala responsible to emotions the pituitary gland is a master gland which is stimulate all other glands mainly adrenal gland top of the kidney secrete adrenaline and so that hormone secretion according to the social situations or which kind of the stimuli you have received these positive situations as secrete balancing the hormones mainly adrenal for example adrenaline if some situation unpredictable situation fear anxiety which cause adrenal secrete more adrenal secrete and stimulate the heart which is responsible to heart rate so heart function will be increase and bp will be increase over heart rate will cause to affect the lungs first you know lungs what will happen respiration will be change so likewise every organs of body have been affected by situations so a mind and body the mainly this mind try to solve the social situations unable to solve the stress hormone will be heightening reduce the immunity power and opportunity infections cause communicable as well as non communicable diseases then biosocial resonance situation of information change central nervous system autonomic nervous system neuroendocrine system these systems are affect susceptibility to disease next heading psycho neuro immunology study of interaction between psychological process nerves immune system human body health and illness so this discipline by robert adder in 1975 university of rochester
coin the term psycho neuro immunology psycho means mind neuro means brain no nervous system immunology means immunity integrative psychology new interdisciplinary field psychology and electric mix of other disciplines what are the mix psychology with immunology and neurology neurotransmitters experience and behavior neurotransmitters influence behavior stressful situations interpretation of stimuli might be associated with anxiety and depression the neurotransmitters neurotransmitters means every hormones you know hormones which have been secreted by endocrine glands or neurotransmitters detail we will learn next class onwards the neural endocrine effect immune system immune system integrated nervous and endocrine system modulate functions the effect of inflammatory and immune response on nerve system so this is also emphasized that this relation in cellular and molecular immunology so mind is component which is determined this body mainly cell each cell stress and immune system functions bio directional communication between neural endocrine and immune by hormones then cardiovascular health and diseases example interaction of behavioral psychological and social factors then genetic and behavior we will be learn next class the students this section is very important for us body mind relationship okay this section is vital for every nursing professionals every nurse should be know about why a person experiencing the disease so this highlights highlights is that we know about body anatomy physiology second is that mind mental components mental mind started with sense and sensation then perception then learning etc this theory is you know various aspects explain about that monotism and dualism every thinkers think differently biologists emphasize biological factors psychologists emphasize psychological factors but reality is that mind and body should be balanced mind body interact with which is affected by social situations you know sense organ receive the stimuli mind try to understand about cognition if good cognition or knowing 
pleasant for us our body secrete pleasant hormones if knowing unpleasant unpredictable unsolvable situations body will be secrete stress hormones try to balance the environment why they secrete the hormones the hormone is essential to balancing these social situations and try to solve that social environment so which is not only affect this physical health which means a uh, cause the non communicable diseases is affect the physical health mental health also the social well being as we had been learned that that's a different discipline evolve from this immunology neurology psycho immuno neurology so psychology is determined mental components are determined the immuno system and biological factors so fact is that cause non communicable diseases as well as communicable diseases so as a nurse what do you feel about it we should be conceptualized how to promote mental hygiene how to defend the situations so these all the matters very essential fundamental for nursing to guide the client also we can use to experience use this knowledge our professional life as well as individual life so various therapies based on this psychotherapies to enhancing mental health by inputting plus and stimuli you know and training you to solve the social situations so this all the matters we will be learn next sections on words so which is a reality of body mind and relation with health and illness okay so now questioning time abarna gs abarna gs
ஆர்யா டிஜே ஆர்யா ஆர்யா நாட் ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் ஆர்யா if it i will be informed to coordinator okay this anybody not respond or any everybody present you know arya arsha can you define biosocial resonation Yes, sir information uh, of information of internal periods will lead to change uh, changes in mm. central nervous system mm. the autonomic nervous system and the nerve, uh, and the neuroendocrine system yes uh, when the system to disease excellent okay are you under plan sir about today's discussion one more question i would like to ask Arsha, George, and C. Yes, sir. What do you learn today? What's your opinion? What do you yes, learn? Yes, sir. Today we have learned about the... Uh, today we have learned more about mind and uh, about perception like... sensation perception learning thinking memory and uh, body mind relationship yes then uh, we have studied the theories two theories we have studied excellent uh, monistic and uh, dualistic theories we have studied then the school of thoughts um, we have studied about um, eight factors yes then <clears throat> then the interaction the body mind interaction Uh, and its response to the health then the physiology of health and illness <clears throat> yes sir okay excellent and see thank you for your response so okay. no okay sir okay students thank you everyone have a wonderful day enjoy the day Okay thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you